If you look good, you feel good, you run good. Oh, and it's a big part of our race prep. Yeah. You know, you do all of it. You do the mental check. Yeah. You do the physical check and you make sure you look good. Yeah. No wonder Gabby Thomas makes winning Olympic gold medals look easy. Yep, gold medals. Unless you've been disconnected from the world recently, you are probably aware that the American champion brought home not one, not two, but three gold medals from the Paris Olympics. Needless to say, few athletes in any sport had as successful of an Olympics as Gabby Thomas. Over a five-day span, the 27-year-old won gold in three events. The 200 meters, 4x100 meter relay, and 4x400 meter relay. In the 200 final, Gabby took the lead 80 meters in and never let the field back in the race, winning in a time of 21.83 and holding off 100 meter gold medalist Julian Alfred. Three days later, in the 4x100, she ran the third leg, handing off to Shakari Richardson, who finished the job for the US. And in the 4x400, Thomas split 49.30 to help the Americans break the national record. Simply put, Gabby left Paris with the most gold medals of any track athlete at the 2024 Games. Given that it was exactly what she'd been working hard for for years, triple gold was literally a dream come true for her. Although dream is too loose a term, goal would probably be more appropriate. Although she's known as a 200-meter specialist, she's one of the most versatile sprinters in the world. She can step down to the 100 or up to the 400 with relative ease. In fact, she was the only woman to run both relays at the Olympic finals. Along with her coach, Tanya Buford Bailey, Gabby decided to train throughout the year with the triple in mind, even if that meant sacrificing some early postseason results. Yes, it has all been a strategic move on their part. As some of you may remember, she raced the 200 meters in mid-May at the Los Angeles Grand Prix, but finished an uncharacteristic sixth in what would be her slowest time of the season, 22.68. People being their usual judgmental perfectionist selves, they questioned her form and performance. Gabby was quick to clear the air though, through a post on X. I'm okay, everything is going according to plan, she wrote, and it was. In fact, from there, Thomas did not lose another race the entire season over 200 meters, and she entered the Olympics as the odds-on favorite to win. She continued that dominance not only in her specialty event, but in two other events as well. For Thomas, it's all about preparation, both physical and mental, knowing she was lined up against the best athletes in the world. Um, for me, it was just preparation. I knew that I was lined up against amazing athletes. I was lined up against the Olympic champion who had just won a couple of days prior. I had known that I had prepared for that moment for years, so that wasn't just a couple days in the making. That was years of practice and training and muscle memory, she said. So to say that she was ready to claim the top podium would be an understatement. She manifested it, trained for it, and executed as best as she could. Because she did, she concluded her Paris Olympics experience with a triple gold. Unlike the others, though, Gabby didn't attend the Olympics closing ceremony. In an exclusive interview, the track star opened up about her final night in the City of Light. Instead of attending the star-studded closing ceremony, she chose to spend her time with the people who mean the most to her. I spent the night in Paris with my friends and family, she shared. We went out to dinner, and I got to spend some time with them, since I was so busy the whole time. It was so refreshing and just so nice and got to celebrate having three medals. Then, following her flight from Paris to the United States, she received a warm welcome with a special ride waiting for her. The first thing I saw when I came out here was the Toyota Land Cruiser with my face plastered on it and everyone saw me get in the car and they were waving and cheering for me at the airport, she said. For those who didn't know, the new Olympic champion partnered with Team Toyota for the Olympics. I couldn't have asked for a better homecoming, Gabby noted, although there had been a slight hiccup at the airport, if you can even call it that, since Gabby arrived in Paris without a single gold medal, leaving with three was pretty special for her. So the 27-year-old Olympic champion put her three gold medals inside a box that she carried with her 
throughout her return trip. <laughs> These medals do not leave my sight. These are my babies, so I don't put them in my, in my suitcase that I check. I carry them on with me, yeah. and they are almost always stopped at the TSA check. Yeah, of course. As most of you know, airport security across the globe is incredibly picky about the items you can carry on board the flight. The five-time Olympic medalist told RuPaul during her Jimmy Kimmel live appearance that it was a fun experience, though, as she was able to kind of brag about it. You know, it's a little moment where you get to you get to flex a little bit and say, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, what are these? Oh, just my gold medals. <laughs> yes. It goes without saying that she didn't face any further issues after revealing the contents of the box. Speaking of contents, Gabby's journey from the Olympic trials to her amazing Olympic run will be shown in season two of Sprint. Netflix recently announced that the second season of their hit documentary series will focus on the journeys of Noah Lyles, Thomas, and other elite sprinters from the 2024 Paris Olympics. It is set to premiere on November 13th, taking viewers deep into the world of track and field's brightest stars. The upcoming season of Sprint promises an exclusive, behind-the-scenes look at the mental and physical grind these athletes endure, all the way from the Olympic trials to the biggest stage in sports. According to Netflix, the series will explore the intense preparation and psychological toll that comes with being one of the fastest people on the planet, where everything is decided in mere fractions of a second. Well, Gabby deserves to be one of the highlights of the series. After all, she, along with the legendary Florence Griffith Joyner, are the only two Americans to win at least three golds in a single Olympics. So yeah, she more than deserves the spotlight. What's more, just because the Olympics are done doesn't mean she is. In fact, she's already zooming ahead to her next big thing with all the enthusiasm of a kid on a sugar rush. Her dream track and field project, Athlos, the brainchild of Alexis Ohanian. The Athlos meet in NYC is set to be a historic women-only track event that will take place in September. The one-day event will feature some of the fastest women athletes, including Thomas, Faith Kipyagon, Alicia Johnson, and many more. The prizes for these events will rake up to $60,000, and some additional proceeds from ticket sales, and more, will also be added to their purses. Thomas has been stoked about the event after a stellar run at the Paris Olympics. In an Instagram story, she put up a screenshot of her conversation with fellow Harvard student and friend Karina Joyner, raving about the upcoming meet. This is going to literally be the track event of the year, she wrote. On September 26th, Icon Stadium is set to transform into a track and field paradise as Athlos NYC rolls into town, offering up the largest prize purse ever seen in the sport. Rebranded from the 776 Invitational, Athlos is the brainchild of Alexis Ohanian's venture capital fund, 776, and it's all about putting the spotlight on sports hidden treasure. But this event is more than just a race. It's a celebration of female athleticism and resilience, and it's bound to make waves in the sports world. That's the near-term goal. As for the long-term... Does that mean you're gonna be in LA in 2028? That's the plan. Okay. Watch this to see how other athletes shone on their events.